Hello and welcome to tutorial number 25 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials. <coughs> in this tutorial, well, it's going to be a follow-up of the last tutorial. I actually got a few questions about how you would make an application to use the email the email and code so first of all if you have not watched tutorial number 24 please watch it right now and then go back to this because I'm assuming that you ho already have this code here typed <coughs> so I've got a bit of a cough but anyway <coughs> if you have this code code typed and this sorted then you're ready to go okay so we learned in one of the early tutorials about variables and how you could use them in place of a string or anything like that and you can actually use the text inside the text box in place of a string too so say in here where it says mail.subject we could use textbox1.text or mail.2 we could use textbox1.text that's what we're going to be doing today it's going to be really easy, it's just something that some people don't really understand and hopefully by going over this they will. So make your form a bit bigger and change the text to email application well, we'll change it to gmail emailing application and we're going to change the <coughs> form border style to fix tool window just because it looks cool okay now the first thing we're going to need to do is add a text box for our content so go ahead and add the text box and up here this arrow click it and click multi-line <coughs> and then change it to make it big and then add two more text boxes the first one is going to be for the username and the second one is going to be for the password so just add <coughs> a label one for username and one for password okay so now we're going to use these text boxes inside our mail so first of all we'll click on this text box and we'll go to the name and the name is text box one so to refer to the text inside this text box we will be typing text box one dot text so we look on our mail on here and on mail dot body it says this is an owner's email using vb dot net so you're going to delete this <coughs> including quotations and type text box one dot text Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to take the text inside text box one, which is this text box, and use it as the mail body. Okay, so now we're going to use text box two, which is name is here, and text box three for our username and password. And the first thing we're going to do for password is if you go to the properties, look at password car and which is character and change it to the star sign. I was asked about this also in a question so I just thought I'd cover it here so anyway once you've done that you now you're now going to use for your username textbox 2.txt and for the password textbox 3.txt so double click send email and where it says mail to you're going to remember delete the quotations you do not need quotations and change it to textbox 2.txt because that is the text box that contains our email and then again here the mail that from text box 2.txt and <coughs> where we have username in SMTP credentials change this to text box 2.txt and then if we go back and look at the password field text box 3 we change this to text box 3 here the password one and what this is going to do is this is going to do the exact same thing that the previous tutorial taught you how to do but it's going to use text boxes in place of actual set strings so you could use this to send an email and to make it say whatever you want you could also change the email it's going to be sent to by adding another text box you need to use your imagination to do that you, hopefully by at the end 
this tutorial helps you understand what this actually does and how it works so you'll be able to send an email to another email by yourself and if you have trouble with that just leave a comment and I'll help you so yeah this has just been a short tutorial on how to create your own emailing application it's just a little follow up of the last application and if you have any questions, as I said, please leave a comment. If you have any tutorials, leave a comment. Sorry, if you have any requests for tutorials, leave a comment. I'm, I'm really tired right now, it's 3am. And also, if you have any suggestions, leave a comment too. So just rate the video and subscribe. Rate the video and subscribe. And here's our password field shows as stars. Okay, thanks for watching and see you later.